Yes, if you like how the But me know some mommy not go make me do it by myself ever. I'll let you do it but with me After me do it a hundred times. Yeah, put vinegar on it and wash it, no? That's a good idea. Or yes. you soak it, or you soak it with vinegar, no? Hi lovies, welcome, welcome, welcome back to another video. As you have seen in the title, this one is new and it should be exciting. So before we get anywhere in the video, make sure you press the like button right now. I'm waiting. Thank you so much. So if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe now because you know so everything over here. So as I said, it's exclusive, right? So today for the first time, we're gonna get Jaden to do some work in the kitchen. And I want some of my mommy and daddy skills rub off on him, right? So today I'm going to cook turkey neck. You know, that's Jamaican's, I would say, is a second meal to oxtail. It's a downgrade from oxtail, right? So it's get the oxtail. We call it turkey neck, right? And I'm going to teach him how to do that today. But guys, he's always doing thing, you know. But he's more of a macaroni guy. He will fry him little sausage and him little egg and him little plantain. But now we go up a notch. We teach him, you know, how to make something with mommy. You know, something I'll try to rub off something on him. Where's Jaden? Jaden, come along. And guys, if you haven't liked the video before, just press the like button. Right, 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 right now. So guys, today, you know, I have to show you the, the turkey neck here. Very fresh and fleshy. What you think about it? So fresh, guys. I can't wait to eat this. This is actually one of my favorite meals. And so I'm going to share it with you guys today. Without further ado, let's go. All right. Jaden, come. We're going to teach you boy how to chop up meat. Come over here, son. Oh. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take up this fat piece. Guys, look how it fat. For me, for chop? Yeah, man. We're going to come. Show me an example first. Come this way and let them see. If you're if you're if you're retarding, come. Come. Yeah, you actually cut the meat, cut into the meat first, mm -hmm. and then you line it up. You move your hand and you go like this. And then you cut through the meat. See it here guy. Mm -hmm. Perfecto. See, cut it in two. You think you can do it? You want me to do a next one? Alright, come out the way. Ooh. So you cut it first to show where you line up the bone inside. And then you move your hand. Then you cut through. See it again? Alright, let me see if a long piece. Because you don't want them this chunky in the pot because it tends to not take the seasoning that well. Alright, come. Mark it first, and then you put it on the flat edge, mark it, mark it, move your, hand, your finger, and then chop, chop it. Chop. All right. And try to go straight, like when you kick the football, mm -hmm. line it up. <laughs> All right, see if we are chop it right? Yeah. You know, if you chop it now, right. can you line to it up? To the bone? Up? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, good job. Yeah, no, go but, ahead, but, go ahead, go but, ahead. All right. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Miss a little bit. Yeah. Take your time. Line it up back and put it in the original slot. In the original slot, yeah, and chop it. Yeah. Line it up. Good job. You can just slice now. You don't want to use too much for it. You see, it slice through. Guys, All give right. him a round of applause. If you haven't liked, make sure you like it right now. Good job, Jaden. So. And his first attempt, see? Very nice. Very yeah, nice. So as good as you, though. Look, let me see if you have another fat piece. So this is another fat piece. You can take a um, cut in the middle. We have well, one, two, three, four pieces left. So you line it up first, and then chop. you chop. So this one meaty. Mm-hmm. Already touch a bone? Mm, you feel the bone? Yeah. All right. Feel it again, yeah. Feel and the then bone. now you line it up and chop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In there. All right. Ooh. Got you now. 
Now I need more. Okay. One more. Woo! Mm-hmm. Right through. Can't you can't use it. the long knife. That's why I have this one. So oh, thank you God. Can't use this to go, go down. That help a Good, lot. good job. So guys, you're seeing that he has the hang of it. So let's move on to the rinsing of the meat. Woo. So Jay, given that we chopped the meat, what do you think is the next step? From this? wash it. We gotta wash it? Yeah. So you would go immediately you'd wash it, look at the meat. It look like it's ready to be washed? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, put vinegar on it and wash it, no? Yeah, that's a good idea. Or yes, you me. soak it, or you soak it with vinegar, no? Yes, because you heard me talking about that before. Yeah. But good job. But before you do, you need to clean up the meat. Clean up the meat. Because there's fat on it. Oh, yeah. Like these, these are excess fat. And if you look some of the areas, you might have some of them have some little brown areas you need to clean it up oh, before yeah. you get to that. Just point. like how you clean out ashy and and chicken. Mm. So guys, let me show you. So look at the meat. It has the these fat on it. You see it? Mm -hmm. So these are what you're gonna clean up. So this is how you do it. You kind of turn the knife sideways mm -hmm. like you're peeling an orange. And you just skim it off. Very easy. Like you're almost plucking it like, but slicing it like sideways. Ooh. So you try it. No. Easy. You try it now? Mm -hmm. You try this one. That don't need to clean off. So the area need to clean off. Uh, the fat. Like no, this? that's meat. Right here. Yeah. Those are the fat. Look like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, this can be hard. Oh, you pull off no, like that? just go side with it like and skim it off like you're almost picking it. Oh, okay. So guys, the meat is all washed and ready to take the seasoning. So Jaden, can you share with our subscribers or our viewers what you have learned about when the meat is properly washed? All right, so. You first, can you can t start by telling him what I use to wash the meat. So first, or what you'd use. <laughs> that, there's a camera. So first, what yeah. you first what you'd use is salt and vinegar, and then you soak the meat with salt and vinegar for around five minutes, and then after the five minutes, um, when you look at it, when you look at the meat, you're supposed to see a white a white bone. The bone's supposed to look white, so then you know that it's ready. Because why we try to get the bone white? Because the the you said that the taste would be better and it wouldn't have a raw smell. Yeah, because turkey neck carry a heavy raw smell. Yeah, like oh, like too much like a fish oil type of thing. So Ugh. you really don't want that in your gravy. You want it as basically when it's like this, it's like it have a little. Um, tangy taste in it and it's ready to take on the seasoning and you don't have the raw taste in the bone or going over in the gravy the gravy mm. I got just rich and nice and just mm. tasting the fluffiness on the meat all right so what you think we'd use to season the meat after this process oh uh, I'm not sure the name of it yeah the so seasoning. go ahead mm -hmm. May, I'm not sure if you use black pepper <laughs> I'm not sure if you use that I would use black pepper so you're uh, correct salt um brown if i'm onion. using all purpose i'm not gonna use salt but some people can use salt but i don't want it too salty so i wouldn't use salt but you're not oh. incorrect i'll um, just use the all purpose if we say browning but it would be much later on wouldn't it 
Yes, and because time. that's my t- my method of cooking. So yeah. guys, I normally use the browning method in which I fry up the turkey neck first and get it to be browned. And then if it still don't have the color that I desire, then at that time when I'm making the gravy, I'll put a little bit of browning in it. So at the seasoning stage, I don't use browning, right? And the other thing, when you use browning mm-hmm. early, you have to monitor the pot closely because when you have browning on the meat, it burns easily. So that's oh. another reason why you shouldn't use browning too early. But when it's in the gravy stage, then you have enough water or liquid in the pot so it's not going to burn. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Alright, so what else do you think I'll be using? Given that your mom is a spicy cooker, what else would I be using? Oh, pepper for sure. Yeah. Cayenne pepper. We can't leave out. Yeah, Good job. Sure. So you're noticing what yeah. I'm doing. And for like, um, what I would say, the seasoning that is not powdered seasoning, what do you think I would be using? Like the seed thing? Like the seeds? What, what other seasoning I'll be using? Oh, I'm not sure the name, that's the thing. I'm not sure the name of the seasoning. Oh, what about like um, the ones that look like vegetables? The ones that look like vegetables? That type of seasoning. Skellion? No. Yes, yeah, skellion. skellion, yeah. Okay. What else? Marty said thyme. Onion? Mm. Yes. Um. Ooh. The other Skelion, one that onion. gives you the, the, the flavor or a little spice. Oh man. With the seeds? Pepper. So oh, Marty pepper. said pepper though. No, but you said the powdered type of pepper. You said cayenne oh. pepper. But I still use pepper, guys. You still want to use pepper, maybe not the seeds, but you use the pepper because it does add spice. Yeah. And of course, you're leaving out this one. Um, Jamaicans love to cook with it. It's the pimento seeds. This is what you were talking yeah, about. Oh, you didn't know the name of it. So the pimento seeds and also a little bit of the clove, maybe one or two, because this is very strong. All right, so let's get right into it. So my dears, this is how it looks when it's seasoned. So this is the meat season, no browning at this point. Smelling wonderful. So my son, tell them what I, what you know about seasoning the turkey neck. Uh, So which part of it, because there's many stages. All right, so just explain what I use to season it and just anything that you have learned from me. All right, so. What what did you see? You use for seasoning. It. You did as as you did forget. You did for let like, forget for say about onion. No. Oh, I forgot the, the yeah, garlic. Yeah, you made mention of garlic. the garlic. And also, I use a smashed um, garlic so um, ginger in there, so I can remove it easily when we're doing the gravy, mm. and also to add flavor. So, mm. what did I teach you about the all-purpose and? Um, what are you seasoning? All right, so you said that you use browning or salt and sugar. The reason why you said salt, um, the reason why you did say not browning, all purpose mm-hmm. is because all purpose basically already have salt in it. So because you don't want to use too much salt, you just use um all purpose, and then you use sugar for make it have a relief. Really flavorful taste and rich so do we use a lot of sugar no you should use a, a little tip of sugar um what i explained to him is that some persons prefer to use salt and all purpose but if you're not using salt only or all purpose like in my case if i'm not using salt i'll use all purpose but because i'm using all purpose no i just put a pinch of sugar and that will bring up the flavor and it, mm. it helps you to use less all-purpose or salt when you put a pinch of sugar. This also is applicable to when you're making something sweet. If you don't want to use too much sweetener, you put a pinch of salt and it brings up each other taste. So that's what I was explaining to him, how the sugar come into play. It's not a lot of sugar, it's just a pinch to bring up the flavor. Ginger also has a sweetening content, and so the ginger will just make the mixture right. All right, mm-hmm. so we're gonna go ahead. What do you think is the next stage? Putting it in the pot. All right, so we're gonna get right into that. So guys, I'll be just jumping to help us do this part, right? So just give him a round of applause. <laughs> All right, guys. 
So we're going to get to the exciting part that's now adding the meat in. Boy, the meat boy nervous. Down, the meat are gone. Yes, sir. So, mm -hmm. Jay, just yeah, knock himself still out look and food, just though. do it. Don't make him nervous. Come, Jay. Ooh. Yeah, so you're going to put it in that the first. Just to test the oil. The oil good. Good enough. You put it where the oil is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can do this. Mm -hmm. So just make sure the meat don't have any of the, the seasoning on it and just drop it on the bone. Yes, yeah, drop, drop it, it in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Drop it in. This one looks like some meat. Yes, drop it right on the bone. Pop all of that oil, yes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this one looks nice. Yeah. Put it in. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Nice thing. Mm -hmm. Boy, you guys are taking nice. really long with this. this He's a friend with him getting it, man. I'm getting it. So my son. All right, Jay. Mm. Yes, Jay. Good, okay, Jay. Yes, my son. Put it on the belly. Right. Exactly so. Put on the little bit of the cup here. Yeah. That's a lot of oil. Yeah. You can always see it. Maybe I'm dropping in the middle of the oil. You're not shaking them off. Because I'm eager and want to just drop them in. You're peeling them off like that. Okay, see them all fast. Mm -hmm. Oops. Let's bring up this ginger in the middle and get the meat to the final. I'm just showing him how to measure the water so I just wash the rice well he wash it but we just make sure he say it wash clean so I'm confused you know? which one of you guys washed it he washed the rice but I gave it another wash just to make sure that everything's good and a lot of starch not too much extra starch not in it mm -hmm. so okay. what um I showed him the fork method my aunt actually taught me this way how like amateurs measure the, 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 the water content in the rice mm -hmm. so that you don't get the rice too soggy right so you use a regular size fork not the fork them are too long or too short so Jaden do it now and add the water so I'm gonna turn turn on the pipe and see if you can do it so you put it at the, the top yeah from the top of the rice and to right here right? yes So guys, what I actually taught him is that you should use you should use a regular size fork. Make sure that you are touching the the, the, the the top of the rice, and then it shouldn't exceed the spoon part of the rice. The amount oh, of water yeah, so you use. So you you cook rice different for me and your team. Yeah. Different. You see, that's a lot of water. That's how much water you usually use. No. You don't see this pass it. I'm not passing it. See here, see rice here, this sink. You're pushing it down there. Right? No. This is it. See here. So where should it stop? Right here. Where this stop? Oh. oh. So where from the bottom of the pot or the from top of the right rice? From right at the top of the rice. Let me see. It. And I oh, that's it. a lot of water you use. No, then. see here. 
Do you remember what you said? Hmm? Do it again what you said? You're at the top of the rice now? Mm hmm And not the bottom? Mm hmm Okay. The bottom, yeah? All right. Oh. You know how me do it? Oh. Me use just an inch on my finger, right? Mm hmm Raise to the first line mm -hmm. on your fingertip. Once that touch the rice, right? That's it. Okay. Is one inch. So Jaden, you must you must be able to see the rice. Yeah. So it must be too deep, like oh. it flooded. So look at this. <laughs> it's better to have too little because you can always use a plastic More, bag yeah. or you can use foil paper or you can turn the stove down low mm. than to have too much. Right? So turn on the stove now so you can add that on the stove. You ever eat um, stew chicken and it tastes like it's too boiled? No. And it tastes wow, like about, a it have like a freezer burn taste. Like you always got good restaurant. Yeah, <laughs> cause you, cause you, cause you always bring me at a good restaurant. You try it out first, and then and then me try it. Oh, easy, okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. So guys, that's why I use the the the, the salt and the the, the vinegar. Cause I want to get out the rawness out there. I don't want the gravy taste like that. So now. We're gonna, you're gonna use the remainder of the seasoning in there to cook down, give it that it spring its own water. So, you guys, we use no water in We added so no water. Don't put the brown in, you don't put the brown in there. We're gonna put in brown in, but when we see the color that we want to get. So, we're gonna infuse all of this, and so then when you're cooking down, then we'll add the brown in. Hey, what's the color you're trying to get to? Me? Like a darker color than this, but I don't want to put it in at this point. So guys, we're almost at the end of the road. So let us check the um, the rice, which is done. Right here, all nice and shelly. And we added a little bit of butter on it, or in it, I should say. So the rice is done. We have vegetable prep already. Of course, not Jaden. Jaden didn't do it. So at this stage, you realize that the turkey neck is almost done. So what we're gonna add now, Jaden, you can hold it, mm -hmm. is the um we're gonna add ketchup. some ketchup. It also had a had a little thickening in it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pull this. Right, so we're gonna add a little ketchup. The ketchup help with the thickening too, but not too much. Okay, and I don't want it to taste too much like ketchup only. Um, we're gonna let it just simmer down and thicken up. And then we're gonna add our, we like to have it with butter bean. So we're gonna add butter bean. I'm just flipping them. So lastly guys, we're going to add the good old bean, butter bean that is. <laughs> I already washed but it off a bit. But you not put them watch your watch. No guys, I don't want him to touch the food at any. He went to the washroom. We are not giant that you know, once you go to the washroom, no we don't really, no, really want you to touch the pot. So, so you never wash your hands, Jaden? No more wash my hands. Wash your hands, Bad manners. You know, it's just bad habit. Like people go washroom all the time. You just bad manners. Mm. You think you're bad manners. Yeah, bad um, cooking Don't habits. Uh -huh. Practice. Uh -huh. So I need it and it's going to simmer. <laughs> and it's maybe all up three 15. minutes. Oh, Fifteen? Are crazy? Everything soft now. Maybe a three minutes or so. Going just pick up. Not so much. What you have learned like then? Fast, you know? Did you learn anything? Yeah. I'll forget rice and I'll forget the meat. But you no, know, so mommy not going to make me do it by myself ever. I'll let you do it, but with me After we do it a hundred times. Yeah, after you see that. You know? So guys, I can't wait for finish. I share one food, that's a Jeremy food right there. And I share it for Jaden. Jaden want to do all the rice. <laughs> So guys, it smells good. I really wish you could have smelled it. Do you know how much meat I want? Four piece? Mm-hmm. Three. 
<laughs> but we'll put gravy. Mm. And they begin. So they say you can cook turkey night now, Jaden? Somewhat. You're a chef? No, not a chef. No nah, chef, no nah, chef. But you know how it's supposed to be. Yeah, we know how it's supposed to be. Or we can somewhat cook it. Can yeah, somewhat cook it. And similar principle apply to don't they rush it? To other meat. To other meat, pork and so on. To then that's yours. Uh, well Jada will feel like we don't eat your food as well. Your food, Jeremy and I have more vegetables and pear. Mmm. Avocado. <laughs> Right. So, guys, if you like how the food turn out, definitely give me a thumbs up. And of course, for Jaden oh, for stop, effort. Stop, stop. Oh, okay, Jaden, but he can't say oh. <laughs> And Jaden for effort. Jaden, what do you think about it? They should give you a thumbs up. Yes, they should. Like this video, guys. So do the closing of this video. Me? <laughs> no, no, no. That's a your job. <laughs> Okay guys, I definitely want, I'm looking forward to reading the comments. So definitely comment below, tell me if you do yours or you prepare yours differently from me. And just, just let me know what are your thoughts, right? Comment below, I'm looking forward to reading those. I hope you really found this vlog informative and interesting. I know this is what Rashi really love. I love the kitchen and I love cooking for my family. So guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section. Okay guys, I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. Bye.